In this video, we're going to learn how to configure the course catalog. To access the course catalog, you can either click Catalog from the top right, or go to the Courses menu and click Catalog. Courses are organized into categories and subcategories. If you click on a category, you'll see its subcategories and all the courses that are in it. Each course tile has its own picture and displays information such as the instructor and duration. Here you can also see the price of the course. If you click on a course, you will see its overview page where you can find a detailed description of the course and learners can buy the course or if it's free, they can enroll in the course. Now let's go ahead and configure the catalog. Click Admin and select Catalog. Here you can set up the format of the catalog, whether it's flat, hierarchical, or graphic. You can order your categories and courses alphabetically, or you can use drag and drop for custom ordering. You can also set if you want to hide old courses, if you want to show the time zone, and if you want to show the price just on the catalog page. In the categories tab, you will see all your categories and subcategories. You can use drag and drop to reorder them. To add a new category, click Add Category from the top right and enter a name. If you want to create a subcategory, select the parent category from the list, then click Save. To add a picture for the category, click the picture icon, upload a picture, and click Save. To add a description, click its Edit icon. Enter the description and click Save. You can also add an introduction for your catalogue. Click Add, write the introduction, then click Save. You also have some options regarding the course catalogue when you configure a course. Let's go to a course. Click Admin and select Configure. The overview area allows you to edit the description that shows up on the overview page of the course in the catalogue. In the catalogue tab, you can set up if you want the course to be published in the catalogue, if you want to display a contact us option instead of allowing purchase, if you want to include the short and long description, the table of contents, and to which category the course belongs. Note that a course can be in more than one category. If you click on edit, you will see a list with all the categories and you can select more of them for a course. You can set whether learners can see the course catalog from admin policies. Under the Learners tab, there is an option for the course catalogue. And now you have your course catalogue ready for your learners to browse. In this video, we learned how to configure the course catalogue, how to add categories and subcategories, and how courses are displayed in the catalogue. To see more features, watch some of the other videos or visit our features page on our website.